The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. All right, coming up on 548, really cool shot here of some gravity waves over Rockbridge County. There you kind of see the clouds and the sinking air going from side to side. Thanks to Becky out of Lexington for our picture of the day sent to us via pin it. Here's how you can get your pictures featured on 10 News. You open up our app. There's a little camera icon that says pins. You make a login. You drop your pin with the picture and voila, or you can go to WSLS.com slash pins and do the exact same thing. This morning, cold, frosty start Lexington and Martinsville at 21 with Phil Lynchburg, Danville at 25 degrees. Allow yourself a minute or two to get the defroster going, maybe the ice scraper as it is awfully cold out there this morning. But by the afternoon, some nice improvements. Yesterday wasn't bad at all. Today, we're going to add on to that with high temperatures across the board, about 54 to 58 degrees. By tomorrow morning, most of us 27 to 32. So again, we're probably going to wake up to some frost and then repeat the cycle with warmer air coming in heading into tomorrow. So as far as your travels are concerned, no worries today. No worries tomorrow. No worries on Thanksgiving. By Black Friday, we'll see a few showers moving into the area with a storm system that's uh, starting to move a, a little more slowly. But we will notice temperatures climbing well above freezing. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday mornings as that storm system moves through low temperatures in the 40s above average for this time of year. So for the meantime, high pressure taking care of us, but there you see that storm system grabbing a little bit of moisture out of the Gulf. So Thanksgiving Day is dry in the 50s and 60s. We'll see one wave of showers, especially in the southern half of the area by Friday afternoon, slightly cooler Black Friday than what we see on Thanksgiving Day. And as that storm system deepens a little bit, we'll see another wave of showers pushing our direction by Saturday evening and Saturday night. So there's going to be a couple waves, not necessarily going to be raining all 48 hours hours between Friday and Saturday, but there will be a couple chances for us to get wet. For the New River Valley, high temperatures about 54 to 58 for the next several days. Notice through Thursday morning, we'll start out with cold areas of frost, but that's not necessarily going to be a concern heading into the weekend. More clouds, more moisture, temperatures starting out in the 40s each day. For the Roanoke Valley, looking at highs today, 56, 61 tomorrow, 58 the high temperature after starting out close to freezing on Thanksgiving Day. You'll be in the 50s Black Friday and Saturday as well as we're kind of in between waves of rain, one of which is going to be Friday afternoon. The next Saturday evening could wind up with a few early morning showers Sunday, improving weather throughout the day, even though we're pretty windy with a high of about 61 upper 50s and sunshine as we get next week started out.